Hi Aries, I hope you're all well today. So I'll be looking at whoever's on your mind for the rest of April 2022. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius coming through strong. We have Capricorn, Libra, Taurus. This person's overall energy, Five of Cups, Ace of Swords in reverse. Um, sorry about that. I, I see a lot of either no communication or really bad communication. And they're very stubborn. This person has trust issues stemming from some past hurt is what I'm getting. They don't trust easily. They're healing. They're coming out of something. Why is Ace of Swords in reverse? For this person's overall energy. Page of Wands, yeah. They're not... This is someone who's not communicating. Some of you, they're waiting on you to communicate is what I feel. You may be dealing with an Aquarius. But also, Star does talk about healing. And I was getting someone who's coming out of something. I mean, this ending... This disappointment can have something to do with you. You'll have to rely on your intuition here. It's a general reading. And others of you, it can be something that happened in their past, which they're recovering from, so they may not be as communicative. How they'll be viewing you, Six of Cups in reverse, Seven of Wands in reverse. So for a lot of you, majority of you, I see this disappointment had something to do with you. So they're viewing you as someone who's not fighting for this anymore because of what happened here in the past. So you feel that you're holding on to some sort of grudge, resentment, and you're not interested. You're saying no. Why is this person viewing Aries as the Six of Cups in reverse? King of Pentacles in reverse. Some of you may have been committed to this person. You had a family. Some of you had children with them. And there was an ending here because of someone's toxic ways. The Devil, Ten of Swords. Some of you may have felt this person was taking advantage of you financially. That will be for a few of you. Some of you may even have to pay out child support here. But they, they're seeing you as someone who's all about themselves. You're not bothered. You're moving on. Why is this person viewing Aries as Six of Cups in reverse? See, this is how they're perceiving you. Whether that's correct or not, we'll see. Yeah, that you removed yourself. Some of you, because of a third party, three of swords, or there's just a breakup, a separation here. Or some of you, say you're dealing with a new energy. It could be that you both are coming out of a relationship here. That's definitely a possibility. But I am seeing strong, because we have the devil in this person's outcome, maybe a third party situation. And that third... See, it can be a literal person. There was cheating here, or it can be some vices, right? Maybe drinking. There's some addictions here, which you're not wanting to be a part of. Why is Seven of Wands in reverse here for how this person's viewing Aries? Two of Cups. Yeah, that you're not. Let's look at that. I think at one point you were uh, giving it your all, but you're fed up, and you're not fighting for this connection anymore. They feel you're not communicating, but from time to time you do keep an eye on them or you wonder about them, is how they're seeing you. How they're feeling, Ten of Swords, Upright, Knight of Swords, and Reverse. This person's going through something difficult, but they're very much, they're upset about this whole situation. Why is Ten of Swords here for how this person will be feeling about Aries? Yeah, they still have passion for you. They still want to invest in you. Okay, what I have to say about this, um, some of you, if you're dealing with someone new, you don't share a past, this is one of those rebound situations. So it may be where this person comes in hot and heavy, hot and, heavy and they pull back. And a lot of this can be because they're very much stuck in the past, right? They're recovering, they're healing, but... What they're bringing towards you right now is I see a lot of passion, right? Rather than something committed. They're not, they're not healed enough to offer you anything stable, if that makes sense. But they do have a lot of desire for you. Um, they do want to be physical with you, that is for sure. Why is Ten of Swords here for how this person will be feeling? Yeah, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. They're saying, I don't have anything 
serious to offer you, but hey, uh, there's communication or just passion here, right? And some of you may even turn this energy down. We'll see. Why is Knight of Swords in reverse here for how this person will be feeling? Yeah, they're breadcrumbing here. Be careful this person's not painting a picture here. Pay attention to their actions rather than their words is what I'm getting. In their intentions, we have Five of Swords in reverse, Queen of Swords upright. They're saying if you have a past with this person, they're saying, I'm open to hear you out. I'm open to communicate, but you'll have to come to me. I'm not coming to you. So their intentions is they're very stubborn. What action they're taking towards you, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. They're standing in one position, stubbornly holding on to um, their point of view here, right? Um, they're not wanting to compromise. They're not wanting to see things from your perspective. So it's almost like I'm willing to work things out with you, but on my terms. So you see the attitude there? That is what I'm getting. It's a bit... I don't know if it's arrogant, but I'm definitely seeing stubbornness here. Why is Knight of Pentacles in reverse here for what action this person will take? Your outcome's sort of strange. I don't really know what's going on, but we'll see. Why is Knight of Pentacles in reverse here? Magician. <laughs> yeah, the reason this person holds back is because they're playing games with you. They know what they're doing, and they're intentionally holding back. Why are they doing this? Why is Knight of Pentacles in reverse here? For what action this person will be taking towards Aries, Eight of Wands. Some of you are dealing with a situation where this pro person is promising more than they can deliver. Um, so yeah, things are moving forward, you're getting to know them and then randomly they switch up on you. So. I'm not getting the most reliable energy uh, throughout this reading. Very few of you, there's distance here, right? Which is why this person still wants to invest, but they can't come towards you um, because of that physical distance. So that is the only problem. Then the story has a different meaning altogether. But for others of you, I'm getting a very inconsistent energy. How you're feeling? We have Magician. Upright is the pentacles in reverse. I'm not sure if this has to do with the situation, which is weird because I asked how you're feeling about them. But what it is telling me is that you've been manifesting something. What are you manifesting? I'm not sure. But there's something here that you've been wishing for, you've been wanting to create, and there's delays. So don't be disheartened because it is coming. There's just some delays here. Some of you could be even manifesting communication or forward movement. Let's see. Why is the magician here? Why is the magician here? But what it is telling me is you have a lot of power. You have all the tools at your disposal to make things work for you. You're very capable. You're manifesting happiness. Ten of Cups, recognition, Six of Wands. You're, represent you're manifesting victory. And some of you, just a relationship, a happy, fulfilling relationship. There's delays here, but don't lose hope. You will get what you deserve. Why is Magician here? Three of Cups. Yeah, look at this. Celebration. Emotional fulfillment. You're just wanting to be happy. That's what you're manifesting. And you'll hold back until you meet the right person. That is also coming through. This is so, it's so pure what you're wishing for. And some of you, it's stability. Something traditional, something that's not one-sided. It's mutual. Right? Let's clarify Ace of Pentacles here in reverse. I think it's just talking about divine timing here, but we'll see. Why is Ace of Pentacles in reverse here for how Aries will be feeling? Temperance. Yeah, you're having patience here. Some of you don't know the person that you're manifesting, right? Why is Ace of Pentacles here in reverse for how Aries feeling? Seven of Wands, yeah, I'm telling you, you have high standards and you won't settle for less. You'll wait until you meet someone that's on your level. I don't see you sacrificing or settling or compromising who you are. That's beautiful. Very empowered energy here. Keep going is what I have to say for you, Aries. Your outcome, look at this, Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Wands. So... 
there is forward movement here and ten of pentacles usually talks about a home a family but security stability something you can rely on you can depend on right and there's forward movement when it comes to some families that some of you may be even traveling to see family or moving homes that is coming through why is ten of pentacles here for aries outcome but there's celebration or happiness within a home why is ten of pentacles here for aries outcome why is ten of pentacles here Yeah, you have a you have someone wanting to rush in here king of swords gemini libra aquarius they're holding on to you they're wanting to fight for this they have their eyes on you there's someone rushing in here you're holding back is it because of trust issues let's see why why is knight of wands here some of you may turn down this offer of this knight of wands because you know what you want and you know you deserve better? Why is Knight of Wands here? There's someone coming in. I'm not sure how interested you are. Yeah, someone who wants to move in with you. A family. 4-4, four, four, the fourth house. And we have 4-4-4. Four, four, four. Something's happening here within the family. Um, some of you may be moving homes, relocating, Six of Swords. And others of you, it can be moving in with someone. Right? There's an offer here. Knight of Wands, someone wanting to move things to the next level. So if you've been dating, getting to know someone, there's forward movement here. In this person's outcome, we have the Devil, Upright, Empress, and Reverse. Uh, I'm not sure about this energy. Let's see. Why is the Devil here? Hierophant, is this person already committed? They're in a toxic relationship, toxic marriage. They're very unhappy. It's almost like someone being in a relationship for the wrong reasons. Why is Empress in reverse here? Or they're just scared. There's a fear of commitment. Oh, I don't like this energy. The magician is wanting to come through as well. Why is the Empress in reverse? Why is the Empress in reverse for the person on Aries' mind? Can be a baby mama, baby father, right? They were healing from something. Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Swords. This this person's lacking self-love is what is coming through. They're needing to work on themselves. Insecurity is coming through. They don't feel good enough. They may be, some of you, you're getting to know someone or you're dealing with someone who was with a very abusive partner, someone who put them down made them feel less than is what i'm getting that'll be for some of you so they have a lot of healing to do why is the empress here yeah look there may have been a divorce a separation there's an ending here some of you you're getting to know someone who's freshly out of a relationship which is why i was getting that rebound situation right so be very careful if someone comes in and they're wanting to rush things with you. A very confusing reading, Aries. I feel in this reading, there's two energies. There's one person here that's waiting on you to initiate, to make the next move or first move. And then there's another energy, or it can be one person, right? Who's feeling defeated um, and they're they've sort of closed off and they're putting themselves out there they're not quite healed and they may be giving you mixed signals right so it really depends what is this person on aries mind intentions towards aries april 2022 what is this person's intentions towards aries yeah I, I'm not going to be the first one to make a move. Look at that. Sitting on their throne, not moving. You can come to me, Aries, if you want to talk to me. That's their attitude. And some of you are holding back. You're saying, no thanks. I'm manifesting happiness elsewhere. And that 
energy where I was saying they're already involved, they're committed, some toxic marriage. I need to focus on my family right now. They need me. Dating you would be just too difficult right now. They come with a lot of baggage that I don't know if you want to deal with that because you're you know what you want. Your energy is very you know, you're high vibrational and this person may drag you down, Aries. That is all I'm getting. Past or new, if they have baggage, it'll be a roller coaster for you. What is this person's uh, intentions towards Aries? Yeah, someone who is can um, promise more than they can deliver. I was feeling this. Your emotional needs may go unmet. I want you for my own personal gain. Rebound. What can I say? I'm a player and I want to continue to play the field. Yeah, because I'm already I'm still holding on to something that happened to me in the past. We can build an empire together. Be a power couple that everyone envies. I'm not sure about that, Aries. I mean, if you feel your person doesn't have bad intentions towards you, you know your situation better. Always listen to your intuition, right? It's just a general reading. But for a lot of you, this is a very unreliable energy, right? They may come in to disrupt what you already have going. Be careful this person's not coming towards you for your finances, your money. I have a weird feeling about this person. I'm continue, I'll continue to play your silly games. It's quite endearing. What is this person's intentions towards Aries? Yeah, they're coming back. I'm going to sneak back into your life and pretend nothing ever happened. I know I'm a coward. Yeah. Some of you, it's one of those situations where uh, when things aren't working out in their existing relationship, they come to you. I definitely see that. But they're wanting to sneak back in. I don't see you giving in. Four of Pentacles, you're coming to us very guarded. Bad attitude. Yeah, that's their energy. I saw it. The arrogant, stubborn... Aries can come to me. Bad attitude, Queen of Swords. Some of them may be, you know, into that whole open relationship that is coming through. Loneliness. <laughs> manipulation. Wow. They're all problem cards. We have manipulation, lust, heartbreak. This person will leave you hanging. Or that is how they left you here in the past. Then why are they wanting to come back around then? Right? And they've done this before. Look at that trail of broken hearts here. I'd be very careful. Right? This person may come back to you when they're at their lowest. They're feeling lonely. They're wanting to rush back in. Some of you did have a family with this person. And it was very toxic. What advice do you have for Aries when it comes to this person on their mind? If you're manifesting new love, you want nothing to do with this energy I'm picking up on, there'll be a new love offer. I'm feeling it because you're manifesting it. There's some delays here. Might not be in April, but it is on the horizon, right? So don't give up. Yeah, know that you're a queen. You're a king. Don't take your crown off for anyone. A new love offer is on the horizon. Keep an open mind. It's the only way you can explore, create, and grow. Progress is impossible without change. There may be some resistance to change here with the Four of Pentacles. If that is the case, they're wanting you to sort of, you know, venture out, step out if you want this new love, right? So you will have to step out of your comfort zone. And others of you, the reason you're holding back is because of this ex or past, whatever. I'm going to sneak it back into your life. They're not taking responsibility. Right? They're saying, I'm going to sneak back and pretend nothing ever happened. So it's like, they haven't changed. They're not apologizing, but they're wanting to come back. They haven't learned from their past mistakes. 
What advice do you have for Aries in regards to this person on their mind? April 2022. What advice do you have for Aries? We have boundaries. Be a man, woman, whatever you identify as, of confidence and self-respect. Love yourself enough to set boundaries and give them a reason worth fighting for. And you're doing that. That is why this person's being drawn back towards you, right? You not letting them in, you being guarded, you not fighting for this. You're saying, I remember what happened in the past. I'm manifesting happiness for myself. You're not a part of what I'm manifesting is what a lot of you are saying. And we have joy. I was feeling this for you throughout the reading. Not all endings are sad. Stay hopeful because you will have your happy ending. I'm telling you, you will have your happy ending. Your manifestation is coming much sooner than you think. Yes, it is coming. You may not see results here in April, but it is, it's coming. I'm telling you, your manifestation is coming much sooner than you think. So you will have your happily ever after. Don't give up. Some of you, it's not this person though. They're very flighty and inconsistent. But yes, Aries, I'm, I apologize. This reading was all over the place, but hopefully you got something out of it. Take care of yourself. I will see you next week.